Big Nate is a sixth grade boy. He's 11 years old. He's kind of the star of his own life. He's really convinced that he is awesome, that he's destined for great things. And some people might find that a little annoying, his teachers in particular. I'm a little envious of Nate, you know. It seemed to me that the kids who were always getting into a little bit of trouble were always the ones that were having the most fun. I didn't get into the sorts of trouble that Nate does, certainly. Not on that epic scale. But uh, Big Nate is sort of like me in that he draws comics. So did I when I was a kid. I still do. When I was Nate's age, Winter was huge. I loved winter. That was my favorite time of the year. There was always snow on the ground. We were always having snowball fights. We were always building snow forts. So it's big for me and it's big for Big Nate. Nate is obsessed with cheese doodles and I love cheese doodles. If they were a little healthier, I'd probably eat them every day. They've become a big part of the strip, Nate's obsession with cheese doodles. One of Nate's quirkier habits is that he hits himself on the head with an empty plastic soda bottle as a way of relaxing. And I, don't, I, don't, I definitely don't want to make it sound like I'm just sitting around my house all day hitting myself on the head with a bottle, but if there happens to be an empty bottle lying around, then I'll, I'll whack myself on the head with it a few times. Thunk, 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 thunk. Sometimes it just feels really good to hit yourself in the head with an empty plastic soda bottle. And the last time I visited a school, a kid asked, can you show me how to draw that? So here's how. It's fun to draw and it gives me a chance to play with some really fun parts of drawing, like motion lines, sound effects, the expression on Nate's face. All of it makes for a really fun drawing. So he's just going to be hanging out on his front lawn, just chilling with his bottle. Do his hair here. He has seven spikes of hair and then he's just going to be sitting down so his legs are stretched out in front. There's his big feet. Nate has really large feet as you probably know. And this arm is just going to be hanging down nice and relaxed and this hand is holding the bottle. So I add the thumbs, the fingers, and then the bottle itself, which I'm going to draw more than once because I want to show that it's moving. So I draw it from sort of several different angles and then I add these curved motion lines and it really makes it look like the bottle is hitting him in the head. And now his expression, this is something that really relaxes Nate. So I'm going to give him sort of a sleepy eyed expression and a nice kind of goofy smile. Doesn't he look relaxed? And then I just finish out with a couple of quick details to make the drawing look a little more done. And there he is. Now the sound effect. I think thunk is the perfect word for a bottle hitting somebody on the head. So if you have never tried hitting yourself on the head with an empty plastic bottle, give it a try. And you might find, like Nate, that it's very relaxing.